Printhead Test Lab engineering technicians at Fujifilm Dymatics work hard every day to assess product functionality and ensure that everything works just as it should. They run tests for two distinct purposes. One is product development, during which new designs are tested to specification. The other is to service customers by testing their potential in current applications. In the second scenario, Printhead Test Lab engineering technicians try to emulate on a smaller scale what the customer is doing in the field by using actual customer inks and substrates during the testing. Regardless of its purpose, each round of testing has three legs and can be thought of as a triangle. The first step, or the peak of the triangle, is called drop watching. This process makes it possible to look extremely close up at the individual nozzles in a printhead. These printheads being tested have anywhere from 128 to 2048 nozzles. Once an operator has managed to hone in on a singular nozzle, their task is to examine the drops coming from it. These drops are measured in picoliters, which means they are extremely small. So small that one raindrop can contain tens of millions of picoliters. During this testing, up to 100,000 drops are printed every second, but it's hard to tell. When focusing on one nozzle, the drop almost looks like it's standing still. This stillness allows the operator to see exactly how a drop falls from the nozzle plate being tested. They can then measure the drop's velocity, size, and formation. The goal is to get each drop to hit the substrate being printed on in precisely the correct manner. They're looking for a nice, round drop that will fill a pixel perfectly without breaking up and creating what they call satellites. Running this test allows Printhead Test Lab engineering technicians to do any necessary fine-tuning to the nozzles on printheads before moving forward. This step is the foundation of all the other testing done in the lab. Once it is complete, a printhead can move on to the next point of the triangle. At this stage, printhead test lab engineering technicians zoom back out to the macro level and assess how the fine-tuned nozzles perform within the printhead. They fire all the nozzles for multiple minutes at a time on a roll-to-roll -roll sustainability system that enables continuous jetting without making a mess. The purpose of this is to look for jets that stop firing, become crooked, or turn weak. Afterward, they check the nozzle plate to see if it's appropriately clean or an inky mess. These results determine if the printhead is ready to progress in the testing process. It's common to reach this step only to go back and make a better drop before taking a printhead to the final stage of testing. Sometimes the drop may look beautiful at first, but when they go and turn on all the nozzles, it just doesn't work. Try, try again as they say. Once a fine-tuned nozzle has been achieved and has been proven to be sustainable within the printhead, it's time to move on to the final point of the testing triangle, which focuses on image quality. Now, the question is, will the printhead be able to create the expected final product? Variables in this test will differ to match the intended application of the printhead. For example, a printhead that is to be used on packaging will be tested on a different substrate than a printhead that is to be used on textiles. Also, the image that's being printed during these tests will vary. After all variables are determined, Printhead test lab engineering technicians run the job and then investigate how the speed of the printing process has impacted the image quality. For example, they might discover satellites, spray, or any other ink issues they weren't anticipating. Ideally, what ends up on the substrate will look identical to the image that was created on the computer. If this result is not achieved, Printhead test lab engineering technicians can troubleshoot by using an infrared camera to examine some internal features of the printhead. They may be able to resolve a clogged, blocked, or crooked jet that snuck through to this point without ripping the printhead apart, then go right back into testing. If printhead test lab engineering technicians cannot identify any issues using this method, they have to send the printhead to the autopsy room for failure analysis. Either way, testing is not complete until every piece of the printhead is functioning well enough to achieve the ideal result. Now you know what a day in the life of a Fuji Film Dymatics Printhead Test Lab Engineering Technician might look like. One thing's for certain, this team is crucial to the creation of successful printheads. If you want to know more about what it's like to be a part of this team, please contact us.